more Mauritania for you here today in this video. Uh, we, we will uh, check out some of the surrounding areas in the uh, Mauritania desert and maybe going into some surrounding countries as well. Uh, there's a lot to cover, uh, just a, uh, a whole lot of place marks. And uh, so I think I might have to break this up into two or three more videos on this general area. And I know this is kind of getting off topic from out of place channels, but uh, the, the general area is uh, kind of heavily populated with this out of place channels phenomenon. So we're just kind of looking at the area as a whole and trying to suss out what's going on. So to start out, I have one more example. We're looking at this general area in the last video. And I have one more example, like right here-ish, I want to show you, and then uh, we'll check out some other areas. So let's, uh, let's go to this one example here, see if I can find it, um, right here. So, just something I noticed as I was leaving this area in the last video. Um, okay, so... This right here. Crap, damn it. Sorry, <laughs> little dead air for a second. Uh, it is this is the phenomenon I'm looking at. This just wasn't the example I was looking for. But uh, here we see a linear path there, perhaps. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is the thing, the, the kind of exit path or the curved down um, path we see that looks like uh, the end. Here's what I was looking for. And then we see more of it here, just like uh, finishing maneuvers or texturing maneuvers that uh, um, kind of bend and then continue or change tra trajectory and then continue. So we have a lot of that down the face of this cliffside here. We have like this. Uh, it's kind of faint, but you see here, uh, here as well. Um, potentially. And then also we have right up here, we have these faint parallel paths. You can see a little hard to make out, but uh, right here, this line right here, maybe I should draw a line, but I think you can get the idea. Um, like, like right, going like right here, like these in this direction. Um, so you see these lines and they continue down the cliff side like this. See that? And then they cur like this one curves and then co like continues across the face of the, uh, the cliff or the hill or mountainside, whatever. Um, so let's get one more good look at that. Uh, so just a general view. We've got these kind of parallel lines, fine parallel lines going down the cliff side, kind of at an uh, awkward angle, I would say. And then um, continuing, here's one that like continues, or this one specifically, see the well-defined edge of it there. And so what type of path? That's, that's a harder question to answer, um, but it's just the edge of something does appear to be there. Uh, and it's a little awkward and abrupt, I would say. And so these um, these maneuvers down the face is something we see, I think, on the coasts uh, in a lot of places. And then also here, uh, just pretty subtle, but I think we do see it. And then especially these parallel lines curving down, this set of parallel lines curving down. And if you search my place marks for this phrase here, then you'll come up and see this. You can scroll around and get your own feel for it. But I'm seeing parallel lines here that uh, go at an awkward angle to the cliffside and then kind of bend and curve down, down the face like this. Okay, enough said on that point. So, uh, so yeah, 
that's this area in general. And then um, how about some general comments? Uh, so the Rashad structure itself, or the Eye of Africa. Um, uh, so there's a lot of different uh, theories as to what this is. Um, here's another little circular feature just uh, for reference and to be considered alongside. And uh, so one thing I thought of is, uh, well, first of all, I think it's conventionally considered like mud flats or something or mud, um, mud something, mud rings, something like that. I don't know, seismic or volcanic or whatever. Uh, but um, we're going to see a lot of artificial stuff in the area. And then also uh, I wanted to address the idea of uh, the Mud Fossil University YouTube channel. Their uh, uh, idea that uh, this is like a big 900 mile dragon here. Uh, and uh, he explains it better than I could. But like here's the head and maybe the eye there or something. And like the feet and whatever. Um, and then the idea would be this is like a giant fish. And I was going to save this conversation for the uh, large biology episode or video, but uh, I just wanted to touch on this since it's in the area here. Um, so I, my best guess is that no, this is not a dragon and this is probably not a fish. Um, there may be some effort to make it appear that way somewhat. Once again, if we're dealing with some weird algorithm that uh, straddles multiple possible interpretations, then it's going to make quasi-fish features sometimes, <laughs> just for the heck of it. But anyways, or features that somewhat resemble a fish. Anyways, um, so the idea is, uh, or the point I want to make is that if this is a fish, fat chance, but maybe it might be, I was thinking like this is where its eye might have been and then uh, okay so this is called the eye of Africa <laughs> and it's about the right size for this fish eye. <laughs> so basically what I'm saying is what if what if someone just like plucked out this guy's eye and plopped it over here just for for fun or for amusement and then this might even be the pupil or something like they plucked out the pupil and here's that. Uh, or a, a more inner part of the eye. I mean, that's very wild and pretty unfounded, but it, it is called the eye of Africa. Obviously, an eye is a pretty universal geometry, but, um, or concentric rings. So that's not evidence in and of itself, the name eye of Africa, but uh, I, I haven't heard this theory, so... I think rather than Atlantis, oh yeah, some, some people think this is Atlantis, and I was considering that, but I tend to disagree now, or at least I'm not convinced. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I throw it out the window. This could certainly be Atlantis or some similar city or something like that. Um, just briefly for reference, it's uh, uh, arc seconds, no, miles, please. It's 24 miles across, so yeah, this could be like an old city or something. <laughs> I was thinking it'd be funny if it was like the eye of this fish that they plopped, they plucked out and plopped over here and then uh, they kind of uh, raised over it with some kind of artificial bulldozer technology or whatever we're dealing with. Uh, so I just wanted to address that and uh, I mean, I assume most of you have already heard that theory, but maybe there's some new people who haven't heard of Mud Fossil University. So I think that's pretty nuts that this would, how, like, how would this be a dragon? Like, what would it eat? How would it support itself on such a small planet relative to its size, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So, I, I mean, it kind of doesn't make any sense. I agree. Um, but n neither does a lot of this stuff. So just entertaining, crazy ideas uh, at the moment. Um... Okay, more general comments on the area. One more I wanted to make was uh, I wanted to address these large scale streaks, which do not appear to have a particularly artificial appearance. Like these very large scale sweeping streaks across the landscape is what I'm referring to. Like you see them here and here. Uh, 
sand flows uh, from wind and sandstorms and stuff for sure. Certainly possible that it's from like the Great Flood or a, a Great Flood. Um, you know what I mean? Like the Biblical Flood or whatever. Yeah, certainly. Um, I don't have any super strong opinions on these very large scale streaks, especially since they look rather natural. I wouldn't say they, they fit the bill of the artificial patterns quite as much as some of the other patterns we see. Um, but then uh, I might as well show you these place marks now. Uh, we do see artificial patterns uh, in the general area, like these uh, weird lines and stuff I'll show you in a second. Um, but just wanted to throw out the possibility that these uh, large scale streaks are part of the uh, makeover project as well. And they may have used a more organic method rather than clumsy artificial tooling or uh, not clumsy, but uh, herky jerky mechanical looking straight lines. Uh, so this is not, this is not that. These streaks are not like super regular and parallel and all that. They could be part of the same project. What's the, uh, down here we have the same thing as well. Where are they? Um, very large scale streaks, if I can find them. Yeah, like these, these sweeping streaks that line the landscape. Fairly parallel in some places, like right here, looking very regular. Um, but it's, it's pretty tough to say. Uh, but just, uh, it's, it belongs in this conversation, like how those streaks fit in. And my answer is, I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I definitely wouldn't call these channels. That wouldn't make any sense, but here they are big streaks. They, I think they're pretty deep. So they trap a lot of sand and they retain their shape, but whatever it is, it's something large scale that is going on either a catastrophe or even just the uh, slow accumulation of sand flows or weather patterns or whatever uh, but yeah this is what these grooves or streaks look like these big guys okay um, let's let's get, uh, knock this area out and uh, Really, there's entire areas I haven't even zoomed in on and checked out, but basically anywhere I zoom in, I, I find stuff. So let's let's check this out. Awkwardly long ridge or groove. Okay, so some kind of straight ridge or groove here. I would say it could be a pipeline, except uh, we have um, so many other weird stuffs, things like that in the area, like here. Here we see it continuing like this long thing and on a pretty uh, pretty nice curve here. It's not perfectly straight. Could be natural, but it looks a little abrupt and clean to me, I would say. I think it might be like those stone walls like we're seeing in Jordan and all over the place. Here's another one here. Let's check this out. Um, and uh, some other ones I'll touch on these in a minute um, but fairly straight here so it could be like like we're seeing in other spots where it's uh, unnaturally straight for for a length and then it starts to meander a little bit uh, as per this weird algorithm or approach but yeah, there you see it continuing we kind of lose it under the sand unfortunately here's Here's this curving one continuing here we see under the sand and it, uh, I don't think this is modern stuff. Um, brief look at historical photos maybe. Looks like it's been there a while. It's, uh, it's hard to tell what year we're actually looking at. I don't know. 
sometimes the historical photos are a little uh, hard to navigate. <clears throat> but yeah, it's been there a while. So what about like these ones? Like this doesn't look quite as, it could just be some type of natural ridge or ditch or something. This same, it's like kind of got a natural curve to it maybe. Uh, so what's the deal with those? Or like, like this and like this. So these need to be considered as well. So uh, I'm saying like the, the co-appearance of the obviously artificial uh, kind of blending into the more natural looking is like a uh, deliberate giveaway or a, a clue in a sense or like a, I don't know, that's the gist of it, but um, like it's done on purpose possibly for like some type of MK Ultra type effect like uh, or just using that type of algorithm to generate the patterns like just uh, a mishmash uh, of different aesthetics and stuff possible angle here yeah certainly looks a little weird and angle there and once again a lot of people are saying this is the remains of ancient civilizations and stuff, but I'm saying if it is that, it's that and some heavy working over of the area with something which completely, or almost completely obliterated what whatever was there. Like here, whatever this is, just kind of angularly, derpily changing directions. Um, plenty more. Uh, let's just... So awkwardly long. I'm just trying to cover all the place marks I have here. So let's go down to these ones. Here's another one. And once again, in the context of these more naturally flowing ridges, or apparently natural, and it could be these ridges are natural, and then this weird algorithm came in and riffed off of that pattern and made these more artificial angular maneuvers, just awkward transitions. And uh, so like here, I would have a tough time saying this is not natural if it weren't for the, uh, the angular regularity that it kind of continuously fades into or becomes as you follow it in one direction or another. So like this looking slightly discontinuous and out of place to my eye. Uh, this angle here looking odd to me. Uh, let's look at this guy here. Some type of path or something. Not, not seeing this as any kind of uh, natural gas line or oil pipeline or power line or it just doesn't strike me as that. In my opinion, and you got to be careful about opinions, obviously, but they're worth a little bit at least. Some possible parallel things going on there. Uh, this pretty straight one, these two crossing here, and then it curves and it goes off into, well, it does this for a while, and then it's pretty straight again, or fairly straight. No, not really. A little more natural there. Kind of angular here. See? Kind of like uh, feature soup, feature salad. Again, the geometry soup, uh, the shape soup, uh, the uh, something like that. And lots of these stone walls, maybe, or something. It's it's awkwardly regular and clean in some along some stretches of it, and then very natural looking in some other stretches. I already said that, but yeah, like here, it's almost perfectly straight. Like look at that. It's just awkward. 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 Okay, let me uh, 
see if I got all my place marks here. Um, this one looking pretty strange to me. See this one? I have a tough time buying that as a natural feature. Even as I say that though, I could certainly think of like some type of crystallization, large scale like geological crystallization or um, just mineralization that leads to some different, different ribbon of whatever. Maybe, I mean, maybe. Here it's almost looking like patchy. You know what I mean? All right, did I get all my place marks here? I don't want to leave this uh, area before we uh, see some pretty solid examples. So I'm trying to find some really good ones here for you. Some possible angular weirdness here, like a nice little curvy path there, potentially. Just weird little elbows and turns and transitions. Yeah, I mean, it's just, if you scroll around, it's just more and more and more of the same. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, so here we have a more natural looking flow to it or uh, trajectory. And then it's kind of like angles here in this fairly regular just awkward is the best word I can come up with. Like almost a right angle there. And then they're like, oh no, we'll go natural again. <laughs> and, they, and they go on like a natural meandering kind of pattern. Uh, so when I do see stuff like this, it does make me question the, the naturalness of these very large scale streaks. Like Randall Carlson and Graham Han Hancock and stuff. They've talked about uh, catastrophism uh, and large scale like cataclysms that uh, reshape the planet. And I think there's a good chance that those are artificial cataclysms. <laughs> or uh, it's, I'd say that's at least a, a worthwhile conversation, wouldn't you, at this point? Um, some possible weird angles, a weird tick marky, like this. Angular suture here, like what? What is that? Like why? Dot like dotted suture at right angles. Um, so again, like a, a sophisticated soup of geometries. That's uh, it's it's doing some pretty goofy patterns. Um, okay, what did I want to say here? So, let me get oriented. Um, Alright, so here I think I wanted to say... Uh, circle? Mm, never mind. Um, so here we have a very regular joining of these two lines. Like this line, not perfectly straight, but pretty straight for a bit. Or pretty clean and regular, at least. And kind of curving nice or nice and smoothly over here and continuing perhaps uh, but anyways uh, where is that joining so it joins up with this one at almost a right angle or almost exactly a right angle and this line is not perfectly straight and it kind of uh, morphs into this, or blends into this natural pattern. And that's not to say the natural pattern wasn't there first. And uh, the artificial pattern just kind of uh, traced a path up to the edge of it. And then the, the natural pattern looks like a continuation of it when it's not. That's possible as well. Um, <clears throat> this, just seeing some general kind of odd uh, patchiness perhaps. Maybe that's just my tainted eye. Uh, to, to, to a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Uh, that, that kind of thing. So maybe I'm seeing 
I'm, I'm like heavily biased to uh, to look for artificialness at this point, so of course I'm saying that. But uh, yeah, like these uh, these ridges thing. So what I wanted to point out here uh, to finally get to the point is um, this regular right angle thing accompanied by this um, or uh, in the neighborhood of this very irregular joining. So uh, I think it's at least possible that uh, these are two different methods or styles of the same uh, same pencil, so to speak, or the same uh, um, the same maker, the same uh, builder, or whatever did this, whatever generated this uh, this transition here, also may have generated a. A more irregular uh, variation for whatever reason. It's just worth noting that uh, it's not like a checkerboard. It's not like an exact artificial thing we're dealing with. It's not perfectly exact everywhere. So I think I already covered this derpy angular edge here. And then uh, I'm sure we could just do some like random zooms over here like and see very similar stuff. Um, mm, I mean, just just because a just because a ridge is abrupt doesn't mean it's part of this weirdness. But maybe a similar thing there. Yeah, like continuing here. Like, see this? Is this a road? Let's try and figure this out. Is this a road? Not looking like a road to me. It's just a very linear suture. Yeah, like see if it were a road, it would it wouldn't be broken up like this. Maybe it's a former road, or maybe this is like the dirt pile that was left on top of a pipeline or something like that. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And then possibly another right angle transition here, like we we're seeing, but just in a slightly different style, but we see this very long, might have to drop a place mark here, yeah, just going and going and going, I should put this in the very long lines video, but this guy, eh, I don't think it's natural, so, I wouldn't say it's a channel or a former irrigation way or anything, it's just like a ribbon of straightness, so it's like some type of uh, I'm guessing it's some type of like artificial uh, uh, ripple induced into the the bedrock or the uh, just like Im something imposed on the the land, like a, a a straight line pattern imposed on the land through some type of high tech, maybe if that makes any sense. Um, and how, how would they do that? I mean, any number of ways, like a, a pressure wave or some type of like gigantic cloud of electromagnetic slash temperature controlled, like something where they can modulate all these key parameters and then uh, just uh, just like flash, flash generate a, a crazy pattern or an, any arbitrary pattern, like a crop circle if they want to, or this big long line or whatever they want really. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you sat any, uh, even like a, a human engineer or team of smart engineers down for long enough and at the rate technology is progressing, I'm sure we will get to that point, you know what I mean? And it's, uh, I mean, from an engineering standpoint, like the implementation of it would be difficult, but in principle, it's, it's not that uh, insane. Uh, so... Crap, um, my contact fell out, so I'm putting it back in. Acrobatics, um, no success yet, fell out again. Um, just hang tight for a second, I gotta handle this. All right, we're back in business. Very long, straight line thing. Coolio. So this is, I would say 
this type of thing is borderline, um, quote, smoking gun, unquote. To get a little nerdy for a second, I would, yeah, I would say it's, um, this is kind of a, uh, by nerdy, I just mean the use of the words quote and unquote. I think that's pretty nerdy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this, this very straight line is like kind of like a smoking gun, I would say, just because it's so like abrupt and out of place or uh, kind of oddly straight, oddly regular, awkwardly long and continuing here even maybe yeah like under the sand and probably pops up over here yep well maybe that might have not might not be the same one uh hard to tell but yeah again all these other similar fissures or whatever they are and again i can't tell whether it's like a ditch or a ridge like whether it's protruding or an indentation in the landscape it looks like a ridge to my eye it might be a ridge with a indentation next to it or something like here's another awkward thing so it's looking like kind of like a ditch in the middle of a raised area almost at least to my eye uh, and that's pretty awkward I would say so I think we could probably leave this area satisfied that something Goofy's going on, maybe. Hopefully. Is this a road here? If this is not a road, it's a little weird. It looks like cut through the rock almost. Hmm. And I don't know if this is rock or clay or whatever, so I shouldn't speak too soon. But anyways, it could be something weird or here we see a straight, pretty straight component to it there. And uh, it's probably something weird. And some. Okay, I gotta wrap it up because you could get carried away and just spend hours and hours. I've already spent probably too long on this area, but um, why don't we. Uh, why don't we go up to this area and then work our way back down. So we already covered this and we just kind of covered this general area. Still in Mauritania, I think. Um, just borders and labels. Uh, it's in, into Al Algeria. So same type, same type of deal in Algeria. Not that names of countries really matter for any real reason. Uh, and probably Morocco as well. Um, just whatever. Uh, so this, this, and then let's go up here and look at this kind of stuff. So uh, I think I'll skip this up here. Machine horizontal tool marks. Okay, so here I was, I think I'm just kind of con at least asking the question. This isn't this isn't a super strong example, but just asking the question like how natural are these contours? Are they natural flows of natural bedrock? Are they artificial flows of natural bedrock? Or, <laughs> you know, and then possible straight crease there, just like beep. Possible straight crease there, for at least for, for a length. Uh, uh, just posing questions. Uh, and the, the idea with the, the large biology angle of this would be that like these are like dragon scales or something. I, uh, I'm not going to really s spend too much time on that because I don't know how confident I feel about that one. <clears throat> Wouldn't surprise me, but it's maybe not my best guess for the area. Uh, machine groups. I don't know about machined. But just the, the kind of regularness of the exposed layers like this, looking fairly clean. And again, we're not going to get a clear answer here. Like here, we kind of see a similar type of thing. Uh, this, is, this is basically the same story for all of these, 
all of these ridges, they have like these parallel streaks along them, which is just, what are they called? Dikes, I think is the technical geological term. It's like a raised ribbon of rock. Uh, these may not be actual dikes, but, uh, well, these might be. But it's like when, uh, when the bedding layers, like the uh, layers of bedrock are turned on their side, and they're like, they're, the middle of the layers er erodes away, leaving the more resilient areas of rock as like spikes poking out, apparently. And uh, that makes sense, obviously. Um, where's my place marks? Is it layers or machine? Did I get this already? Uh, no, but same idea. Yeah, I mean. Working my way over to these other place marks here. What do we got? Machining lines. Not the best use of, or not the best vocabulary. The word machine, it's not necessarily the correct word, but... Uh, oh, I think I'm just referring to the, the ridges, the layers, the, uh, the lines of the ribbon of rock or whatever. We have some potential straight lines. I mean, like, see this? Even this, like, faint indication here, possibly continuing there. Um, And this might be modern stuff, maybe not. And oh, uh, here's definitely artificial. So whatever this is, is uh, what is this mining? Let's look at a historical photo because this could be a good example um, if it's legit. Uh, <laughs> Forgive me, I get a little frustrated sometimes, folks, when the images don't load properly. Um, mm, crap. See here, it looks more natural almost. I mean, the space, the spacing is a little, like, somewhat regular, but, uh, hmm. Yeah, and the other photo is looking more artificial, like, more, like, patchy, something or other. Um, well, I don't know. See, like, this edge looks pretty clean. I don't think we'll get a good answer here. But uh, I'll just drop a place mark just for the heck of it. Artificial. All right. Um, let's move on to where the other place marks were. Oops, I haven't turned off in a second. So edges of toolpath, what am I talking about here? Um, so here we kind of see the natural contour of like this, whatever this is, like kind of curving back and like this, and then but like part of it continues like here. Like this I think is what I was referring to. I think I'm looking at just like this and this maybe. Or see, see how regular this looks straight? Uh, possibly even angular here, like see this line here, like almost continuing here, and then these angles here maybe, and then like this path went over that. Looks Kind of looks like that. Uh, and then we have some possible other paths or some type of maneuver of some kind, and then, yeah, potentially, like these ridges resembling what we were seeing over here in this general area, uh, in between these streaks. Uh, so like these ridges here, resembling it a little bit. So if these, if we can find some evidence that these are artificial, and I think we found some that they're at least awkward. So I would say, uh, hopefully we can agree that those are a little awkward in some places, this area that we are looking at. So um, 
if that's true and if those ridges are similar to these ridges, which they may not be, these look like a, a little larger scale. Um, but then we, maybe we can draw some connection or, or figure out or come to the conclusion that these are the same type of phenomenon, just in a different pattern, maybe. It's possible, certainly, I think. Okay, and then I like this example quite a bit. Um, this curve here, uh, <laughs> I mean, given the, the curvature of the other areas, this could certainly be natural, if this is all natural, but, um, like, see how these kind of curve somewhat continuously and um, smoothly, almost? Like, some nice, clean contours that may be natural, for sure. Um, but then this one, for some reason, just gets me. <laughs> this one gets me. Um, just that weird curve there. And then uh, possibly straight there for a distance. Um, maybe, or just kind of intersecting this pattern, and then this also, this here, this ridge is slightly awkwardly, well, I guess no more straight than the other ones. Yeah, like these look fairly parallel for a while, and then, uh, and then bending into these more organic patterns. So, yeah, these, these ridges still bug me quite a bit, uh, like when they look fairly regularly spaced like this for a long distance. But uh, I can't definitively say that that's artificial. It could certainly be a natural flow. Um, but yeah, this curvature of this little cliffside here, it just rubs me the wrong way. It looks discontinuous and awkward in my I-M-H-O, in my honest opinion, or humble opinion. Uh, all right, I could spend days surfing around, obviously, on this um, dragon guy, or this general area. Um, however, let's move on to another area. So, yeah, I already discussed this, that the, uh, the eye, or this might be like a fish eye that got moved over. Uh, places, long discontinuous linear feature. Oh, I was going to show you some modern mines, so I should do that. Uh, let me find the modern mine site. I'll come back to this one. Um, so I think right up here was modern, uh, somewhere around here. Uh, here we go. Here's a modern mine here. Uh, just zoom out so you get an idea for where it is. Modern mine. Here's their, whatever patterns they're making. Um, here's their facilities, looks like. So this is just a modern mine. Whatevs, you know, no biggie. I have considered, I don't think this is the most likely explanation for this particular area, but I have considered that they, uh, that somebody uh, places mining activity on top of the most blatant artificially tooled areas, if that makes sense. So like, so that there's some type of explanation or, uh, or it's like a, a little cover up of the area. Like, uh, like, what if these lines were not from this mining activity, and then they put a mine there to uh, um, be smirched or to muddy the water, to uh, um, to sully the uh, interpretation, or yeah, you know what I mean. But this is pro this is most likely all mining activity or whatever industrial activity this is over here, and then um, this here 
is interesting looking. We certainly have a town right here. Uh, but then we have like this kind of moundy or um, this kind of like herky jerky earthworks type area. It's pretty large. And I looked in the historical photos and it's looked the same for a while. So this could be one of those old things that they deliberately build next to or on top of as a way to obscure what's going on. Um, although there's certainly no shortage of featuring what's going on um, in uh, various, you know, History Channel uh, fringe documentaries and stuff like that. So it could be that both the obscuring of what's going on and the featuring of what's really going on is some kind of um, subtle, uh, like they're both uh, aspects of the protocol uh, or the algorithm or the, um, the big uh, mousetrap or confusion thing or whatever the purpose of the, 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 the overall project is. Um, it may involve both featuring and uh, hiding of historical sites to um, just to add one layer to the puzzle, like one more layer of, of WTF-ness or to make it more difficult to navigate. That's certainly possible. I mean, it's kind of clever, but it's not that clever. It makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Uh, this, so probably modern mining activity, I would think, some kind of square here. I uh, just wanted to point this out in the event that it's not modern mining. But you see this in the general area, like these paths, probably some type of modern exploration or mining. Um, maybe 5 or 10% chance that it's not, and it's these ancient tool paths or whatever the heck is going on. Uh, and then one more example here. No reason this can't be just modern mining stuff. But yeah, just just to uh, get a feel for what uh, what modern activity looks like and how it kind of looks different from other stuff. Um, how about right here? I don't really see anything. This guy over here. Hmm. Nothing jumping out at me, at least. Hmm. Whatever. Okay. Um, so that's like a, a mine, and we see the extent of it. They they seem to have worked over quite a bit of the area. Um, down into this area as well, apparently. Just kind of doing a couple random zooms here. See if we can catch anything interesting. Um, all right, I might wrap up this little area. Uh, okay, so I skipped over this one. Um, so interesting, perhaps here, kind of somewhat subtle, but not that subtle. It's a, a long line here, like I, you see it kind of here, the edge of it, it's pretty faint here. See, I don't, I don't know if it continues. Can't really. Oh, might even continue. See, it faint. Uh, might be a stretch, but here's some kind of linear something. At any, at any rate. Uh, yes. Uh, anyways, anyhow, there's this, for whatever that's worth. And then um, the line I want to focus on is this one right here. You can kind of see it faintly there, and then. Along the same path, almost uh, kind of lose it here. Don't really see it much at all. And then um, that may even be a different line than this one here. But this kind of thing is what I'm pointing out. It's like, uh, well, I may have. I'm sorry. I may have gotten sidetracked. So the screen's a little dark right now. Um, so, anyways, this guy. Uh, is 
something. Here, here it continues as whatever it is, and should certainly be considered alongside these, or in the context of these uh, scrapey scrapes, or uh, sutures, or um, fissures, or natural lines of whatever. But this, this line may be some type of artificial something and it might be mining like just or even just like a vehicle path like a big bulldozer or something i think i think it continues here i think i kind of lose it in some spots but it seems to continue here uh but yeah might be something might be nothing looking slightly out of place or at an odd angle to the rest of the stuff. Anything else interesting? Um, maybe an angular something there? Ah, no, I take that back. Uh, random zooms. This looks pretty craggy and natural, I would say. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, let's go over to uh, what would be okay. So I guess this was like allegedly, if this is a, a giant fish or whatever, like the the front of the like the face or the front of it, and then the top fin, and then the the tail over here. So uh, oh, I mean, allegedly again, but we have to consider like this uh, so-called fin uh, resembles quite a bit this feature here so unless this is a fin as well like an, a yet another one um, then I don't think this is a fin <laughs> I don't like this probably is not a fish fin <laughs> uh, probably I think uh, but yeah we need to consider the that th this looks almost identical to this in the way it uh, flows and has the ridges going and whatever but um, so yeah this this area I think I have some place marks here let's check it out what do we got linear path up the cliff side okay I think I'm talking about this see that Yeah, like kind of a almost almost uh, clean or discontinuous li linear edges there, uh, and then I don't I can't really follow it, but it seems to uh, be here, it, or it seems to uh, just be some kind of linear path here. All right, there's that. What else do we have? Um, okay, I wanted to point out that this area kind of looks, this would be a good candidate for an artificially sculpted um, hillside area, I think, in my opinion, because uh, the awkward angles and curves, this is like a, uh, almost a cartoonish, like, curve and angle here, like, derp, 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 and then uh, here, oh, I'll get this out of the way. Uh, so this angle here is looking slightly awkward to my eye, and we see these angular uh, di di uh, direction changes of the the bedrock or the, the flow of the hillside, and looking here like um, and then these these lines here at another right angle here, then uh, abrupt change of direction here. You see, so like. Here we see this angular thing, uh, these lines, and uh, here's one, I think, this line here across, if I'm not seeing things, and then uh, just like these angular uh, flows are awkward to me. I can't say artificially for sure, obviously, but I can say awkward.
and again some of the uh, just subjectively appearing somewhat angular to me and potential straight thingamajig here maybe not uh, looking for any more angularness um, here looking slightly more natural still a little awkward um, okay tool mark uh, place marks back on and river path versus artificial path conversation worth having like ravine natural ravine versus artificial ravine just throwing that out there and any other place marks okay uh, I think we're just over here yeah linear path angular okay so over here we have potential mm, this is not one I'm super confident on but some kind of edge or vague edge or hint of some kind of edge but it, it kind of looks almost flowy with whatever natural pattern is going or it looks at least somewhat natural so I don't think this is the edges of a path going this way mm. not not a wide path anyways not like a, a big wide vehicle or something like that I don't think that's what's happening here oddly oddly regular I would say but that might not be a strong example okay this one I like let me get oriented I'm sorry I was upside down uh, so where did we uh, we took a look at this angular thing um, this was the path or something we were just looking at and then this guy this like wide gash gouge thing um, this almost looks like uh, or actually this might not be um, indented this might be the, the, the more highly elevated area but I'm looking at like this shape here kind of looking like a gash or something like almost discontinuous like a discontinuous gash but I think it's higher than the surrounding area yeah like this is the lower elevation and this is higher elevation uh, it looks like um, so uh, so I don't know what's going on there maybe nothing but it somewhat resembles um, what we see in the uh, in the ocean over here like these potential um, large scale uh, like this especially like this just looking like a very large scale uh, angular chunky type of thing and this as well this kind of mm. <laughs> see that's the thing it's like it's uh, it blends in well enough just well enough that that you can't be sure that it's artificial um, okay so let's go back here to this area this general area up here and maybe I'll call it a video after I finish these couple place marks um, so this linear or not linear but long uh, interesting path or ravine here continuing looking a little awkward on here um, and then it's almost as if this uh, this path is uh, 
kind of following uh, the edge of this path a little bit, like, like this. Mm, not super strong uh, speculation there, but um, maybe, I don't know. What do we got? Maybe this guy here, maybe not. Pretty blurry. Uh, place marks. Ravine continues as fine linear path. Let's check this out. Whatever these are, it's, it's interesting at least. Um, let's see what what the historical photos. Ah, oh, I forgot we don't get necessarily get good historical photos for the area. <laughs> hmm. There's always a, a ribbon right across the middle. Uh, these is what I was looking at. These looks like a footprint of a building or something. Don't get a good look at it, unfortunately. All right, but these might be something like an old structure or something, or just a weird path of some artificialness. Okay, uh, what was I talking about in this place, Mark? So the ravine continues. So this ravine potentially continuing as this fine path. So looking fairly natural, perhaps, and then we'll follow it and it just kind of uh, continues into like a, if get the text out of the way. A fine path here. You can almost see it still here. Indications of it. And even here. Maybe. Maybe even here. It might not. Uh, I don't think that's along the same line actually. But I think uh, maybe here or here. Kind of lost it, but. We see some kind of straight line there, maybe kind of angling. Yeah, looking like it kind of angles, maybe. Perhaps here, maybe something. Um, and sometimes I'll see myself, like on a second viewing, I'll, I'll see myself point out something like that, and I'll realize that this isn't like an angular shape, but it's like I'm kind of grasping at straws there, or like this. It's not like super definitively in any kind of angle there. It's too blurry to really tell what's going on. Well, even here, like maybe some kind of abrupt angular thing going on there. Uh, yeah. Long path you would be. Right angle almost. Ah, uh, that's not a great example. I don't know, I'll show that one. Okay, I think that's it for this little area here, and um, let's see what time is it. Um, crap, yeah, I'll leave it, uh, I'll leave it there for this video. So I think we're pretty much done with up here and over here. So I think we'll, next video we'll cover like this little area, and if we get to it, we'll do down here as well. So uh, check back for that one. All right, thanks for watching.